Cutting scale guys, Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we are here again, boys, with another sort of build review to go with. You can see I am going to be on my Titan, which... <laughs> Guys, please don't slag him, okay? I just haven't been on my Titan in so long. He looks ugly as all hell, to be honest. But we are going to be going in with a little-known exotic that technically got a buff, actually, last uh, with the last reset because 150's got a buff, skate rifle-wise. And it's going to be this Skyburner's Oath. Now, this weapon, it got a big change this season. And as I said, with that 150 buff last week, this is actually doing really, really well. This can be a really, really good weapon. But the thing that the Skyburners can do superbly well is basically create freaking nuclear weapons. I mean, the Skyburner's Oath, it's an Empire weapon, so it already has the nukes going for it, but Skyburner's, oh my good god, if you pair this with the right setup, it can be insane. It can just get multi-frags by itself. And the main reason for that is because this got that big change that instead of tracking anymore with solar slugs like it used to, now when you hit fire, you will apply Scorch and Explosive Brand. So, so basically, hit firing will apply Scorch to targets if you're hitting them and everything. And obviously, it's not enough to make them ignite, but if you do spec into it, of course, with an instant grenade, because heavy scorch if you hit them with it with a bunch of mods so or with a bunch of fragments so the fragments we will be using to make this even more effective is ember blistering defeating targets with solar ignitions grants grenade energy really really dope for like obviously getting your nade back your instant we got ember of eruption your solar ignitions have increased area of effect so if i do ignite i get a bunch of extra damage on others your solar ignition spread scores you to affected targets that's ember of char really really dope of course it gives me discipline too and last but not least we got ember of ashes you apply more scorch stacks to targets so basically we are all about the scorch boys all about that scorch if you want to as well you can probably throw on this defeating scorch targets grants melee energy but obviously i don't have enough space with my aspects i am still invictus and consecration you can do this on a warlock and of course i know people are gonna hit me with it yeah but you're on a hunter you can use caliber and change and you get a short shine knife yeah you can do that too but the thing about it is that on a freaking titan i could throw on a little known thing as armatarium meaning i can have two nades i can have two nukes going at a time as i said you can do this with a warlock too and of course you can do it on hunter if you want it as well we're gonna go into it we're gonna go into the pvp with this new build try say so without further ado let's go in with our nuking skyburners oath oh, all right so we are going to be on the radiant cliffs of course with our skyburners that could and we're just gonna rush a flag sorry boys so you can see i'm gonna get them off a flag by myself we're gonna nuke their ass and Oh, it's reload. Oh, free kill. <laughs> we'll take that. But this is what we're going to do. Throw the nade and get the scorch going. Get the stacks. And there we go, boys. There's the nuke. <laughs> uh, obviously, with the sunspot as well, I like can sit in that to get a bit more nade energy back as well. And you can see, I nerdy have my nade back with that fragment. The fragment that gives you uh, nade energy on ignitions. I have my nade back already. So if you get this going and you're really, really skilled with it, you can just destroy people. And now there's a guy here. Bomb bro die. <laughs> And the ignite again. It's honestly insane how quickly you can kill people. Did we copy this? Oh, we hit him, boys. We hit him. He's going to be weak. Oh, bro, die, die, die. <laughs> oh, I don't have my nade back and I'm going to have to get clapped. But you can see it's pretty insane. Obviously, you need a bunch of ignites to get the nade fully back. But when you get a double or a triple kill with this, it's honestly so much freaking fun. I, I cannot believe that no one is using this right now. Oh, of course, I get freaking shotgun warlocked. And oh, I think I'm against the freaking stack right now. But yeah, you can see that the Skyburners, I think people are honestly sleeping on it. Especially because, as I said, 150s, they have gotten that buff. So this is doing well in terms of this body shot damage and everything too. And it's just, if you get it going together with the Scorch, I mean, it's pretty no, nuts. Being able to no scope like this and just get the Scorch going. It's honestly pretty damn sweet. Now, there's a dude here. Bro, leave me alone. I am using the Breach Knight as well. And oh, this guy, he's one shot. And he goes, you know what? We're taking a sniper out. And he actually hits the freaking Nosk. Oh, my God. But I am using a Breach Knight with Demolition. It's just to kind of fill the void of having a nade. That's like the biggest problem with this build is to get your nades. That's why I'm Armatarium. But you can see that the ignitions are just super, super cool. And as I said, it's not, of course. Oh, here, get this guy. Get this guy. He's going to be one shot. Oh, oh, my God. He's going to get away. Oh, my God. He got a freaking way. And there's a dude here oh my god we're getting destroyed boys but it's not just of course uh, the what's it called just doing the ignitions the skyburner's oath right now is actually really really dope people i think are just sitting there going oh we're not good anymore i got a jail wrap up but if you use the skyburners to get your headshots in this thing can absolutely clap there's gonna be dude here we'll try to get the ignition going and i missed my nade boys i missed the nade oh god this is as i said the one thing with the build is that you will run out of nade energy and stuff that is why i am running the armatarium breach light and everything 
Yeah. We were absolutely sure. destroying these, and uh, we're playing against big fat five six stack. So yeah, Don't they just decided that. to catch up on our ass. But this is the triple tap. Like this is what I mean. Like the sky burners can absolutely drop out right now. People think that it's absolute ass, and everyone's obviously using the jade rabbit. But I wouldn't see them the sky burners. It pretty much has like max range. It's got that explosive rounds going for it. It's got everything you freaking want. Is except you the only thing obviously is up close. It can kind of suck. But look at that, the damage, bro. Can you get them? Oh, they're everywhere, man. The six stacks are so frightening and freaking pvp and i think someone popped a well right over here all right we're gonna get this get him boys chuck today hit him hit him get the no scopes in oh, oh wait what that doesn't kill him i freaking ignited his ass oh my god man okay oh, if that was the caliban's hand maybe it would have killed him stuff like that this guy <laughs> i'm just gonna keep shooting at him bro someone get his ass please oh he did get him nice <laughs> oh the freaking sniper Man, I don't know how that doesn't kill him, the Ignite. That should just absolutely wipe him out of as well. But you can see that it is really easy to get it to proc. Literally, one instant grenade and a couple of shots with your uh, Skyburners. And they just blow up like hell. I mean, if there was any sort of prick or any sort of, uh, what's called, armor class for a freaking Titan or Warlock that could let you go in with Ignitions, it would be freaking broken. But, all right, we got two dudes over here. Where's he going? All right, bro, come on. Peek the corner. Peek the corner. There we go. And here's the Ignition. <laughs> Oh, you think you can heal, bro? You think you can heal on my ass? No, sir. <laughs> As I said, it's not just about the freaking multi-kills and everything. Sometimes we just want the double or the single. We're going to get the guy in the bubble. Oh, oh, he just ran. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, and he actually hits that freaking shot. My God. What is with all these flawless guys? Conqueror is flawless. I'm coming against the gods right now. But yeah, it's not just all about the double kills or whatever. You can get the solo kills if you want to as well, bro. Leave me alone. But you can get the solo kills with it as well. It's just legit a 1v1 machine. Obviously, you can go with trip mine side. I know that's going to happen. But it's the capabilities that if they are grouped up, you can get the shots in. And the fact that... Ignitions are super easy. As long as you know they're on a flag like this. Oh, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Might have done, bitch. Uh, that's what I mean. He got hit by the nade. And I just shit. I, sh I think I shot the ground twice on him and he just dies. Obviously, he just hits me with a freaking snipe. But, all right, there's a dude on my B flag right here, bro. Oh, shotgun noob, shotgun noob. Shotgun noob. We got him, boys. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we have one day left. This game, we it's actually pretty close considering we're against the stack. And, oh, game, you just cooked me. Oh, I just got cooked. I just got cooked. And, you know, we got the kill, boys. We got the kill. But this is actually a pretty tight game, considering it started off so freaking well, though. And, but yeah, you can definitely see the applications. If you do get it going in and everything, as that, as I said, here we go. Here's the damage. And, oh, he tied before he could get it going. Oh, come on, there must be one week. Oh, where's my ignition? There's the assist. It is kind of a, you just kind of have to kind of, I will say kind of lucky. It's the same with the Caliban's hand. I mean, the Caliban's hand was all about kind of pure luck. Well, this should be game set and match and everything. You can see it's a ton of fun, this build. As I said, I think that this build is one of the most fun things to kind of go in with. And oh, here we go, boys. Here we go. Get one, get two. We got the guys at the back. Oh, we actually got all three, I think. <laughs> I mean, we got at the end there. It is a ton of fun, though. I will definitely say Skyburner's out, boys. Take it out for a spin with Incinate. It's honestly, it's just an absolute blast. Well, that is it for me and the Skyburner's nuke build. As you can see, the Skyburner's Oath is actually really dope right now. As I said, it got a buff with 150s anyway. So right now, as a base-ass weapon when you're aiming down sights, it can be pretty nasty with explosive rounds. But the no-scope to apply Scorch, it's honestly insane. With the instant grenade, the nukes are so freaking sweet. Even the 1v1s. If you get a 1v1 with someone, you just chuck the nade in and get them half HP. Just start no-scoping and they just get blasted out of it. It's literally Team Rocket all over again. As I said, you can go in with this with any other character. You don't need to be on a Titan. I just did it for the double nades because it's easier. You could use, uh, obviously, a Warlock if you want to. Insane and maybe, like, um, the Royal Mustang Snap if you want to get Scorch going. Obviously, Caliban Hands with the Hunters is just insane. It's working perfectly now, too. So, anyone that's holding hands and the nade comes in, they're screwed. One no-scope or a couple no-scopes. If you get your whole team using this, my good God, you will say it. Especially on those bigger maps right now that everyone's, like, Jade Robbing and stuff. Just get an instantate on their ass, throw in the freaking Skyburners, and oh my god, it's beautiful, boys. Skyburners Oath. It's going from zero to godhood again, boys. Well, not really zero, because people are using it, but people are sleeping on the applications of this Scorch. This Scorch here is insane. But regardless, if you like the video, trust the like, and you need to see more content, subscribe, and fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see the next collective in the next one.